Ah, listen to that. The sound of happy miniature goats frolicking on YouTube, but not in Saanich. However, that could change if our next guest gets her way. Jillian McHugh is an 11-year-old Saanich resident, and tonight she'll be making a presentation to Saanich Council calling for a bylaw that would allow miniature goats in backyards. And she joins me in the studio this morning uh, to give us uh, her pitch before she talks to councillors. Jillian, good morning to you. Good morning to you, too. Now, why do you want Saanich to allow miniature goats in, uh, in people's backyards? Well, they're actually very good for the environment because they eat grass and actually eat invasive plant species like blackberry and ivy bushes. Okay, so they're better than the lawnmower than you're thinking? Yeah, because they don't pollute our air and sound. Okay, so they can do the same uh, uh, work that a lawnmower or a weed whacker could do. What about, uh, what about uh, uh, the, uh, the noise and the smell and other things that people might be concerned about? What do you say to people who might say, well, I'm not sure I want to hear a goat or smell a goat in my neighborhood? Well, if the person's ever been to the Beacon Hill Petting Zoo, they would know that it's not actually very smelly because they get lots of love and attention, and that's the same with noise. They're not yeah. too loud? Yeah. Now, what do you, what do you know about other uh, cities, towns, elsewhere? Has anyone else done this so far? Well, I know that Seattle and Denver and, Denver and San, Portland and San Francisco. And Portland and San Francisco have actually done it. Your dad, Rich McHugh, is with us here in the studio, and he's helping remind you about some <laughs> of the cities. So it sounds like a pretty good list of cities that have allowed backyard goals. Yeah. And what about uh, uh, Saanich? If it were to allow backyard goats, I mean, would you be going out and getting your own little goat for the backyard? Yeah, yeah, I and, definitely would. And why do you want a goat? Well, I want a goat because, as I said before, they're good for the environment as well as they're really cute and cuddly. <laughs> Thank you. I knew there had to be something that, <laughs> other than them being good for the environment. What is it about goats that you like? Anyway, why do you think they're cute? Well, it just... The the miniature goats are small, and even when they grow big, they're still cute, and they they'll still play with you, just like a dog. Yeah. And, and so, do you want them to allow, uh, to have a bylaw that would allow miniature goats specifically, or or all goats in general? Well, it would be miniature pygmy and dwarf goats. Okay, because they're all essentially small. Yeah, they're all pretty much the same. And how big do they get roughly? Well, about the size of an average older Labrador. Okay, so they're not getting any bigger than the dogs that are already allowed there. Yeah. What have you heard from people in Saanich? I don't know if it's your friends, your neighbors, but people you tell this to. What, what do they say when you, when, you, when you tell them what you'd like to see changed? Well, most of the people that I know, they say that they want to go. <laughs> and okay. as well as when I, um, when I tell some people... When I was getting the um, petition and the people that signed it, I actually, everyone except for two people signed the petition that I asked. Mm. So I think that that was pretty good. Now, would you want a limit on the number of goats that could be allowed for any anyone's uh, property? Well, it would probably have to be four and under probably because if it's too many, then it might be hard, kind of like dogs. It would be really hard to take care of them all. But it would be good to have two goats because they really like companionship and it actually makes them less noisy. Mm. So that's uh, one thing that would be great. And actually we have a dog and I'm not sure if that would make a companion, but we're hoping that it would. Would you start with one or do you think if you were allowed, you'd, you'd, you'd go for two? Um, well, we might start with one and see how well Maggie, my dog, and the goat would cope together. But if they don't do it very well, then I would get another goat. Okay, so you've got a dog, so you know what, what, it's in, what it, it is entailed with looking after a dog. You've got to walk a dog and feed it and <laughs> yeah. groom it and clean up after it. You're prepared for the work that comes with a goat if, if that happens? Yeah, because it would just – it would be kind of like with a dog. Yeah, um, you'd have to take care of it, but it's all worth it because they're cute and you just they're really lovable. So tonight, you're talking to Sanish Council? Yeah. And you essentially, you're just going to what, read them a letter or, or make your pitch? What, what are you going to do tonight? Well, I'm going to read my PowerPoint presentation, which has a bunch of stuff about why um, they're good and some of the common misconceptions. 
Well, I uh, I hope we can stay in touch because I'd like to see what comes of this. But thanks for joining us this morning ahead of your pitch to council. Good to talk to you right now. Well, thank you. Jillian McHugh is an 11-year-old from Saanich who is going to be making a a presentation to Saanich Council tonight asking for the right for a bylaw that would allow miniature goats in backyards in Saanich. It's now four minutes to eight. This is On the Island on CBC Radio 1. We'd love to hear from you on this. Do you you live in uh, Saanich? Uh, Would you like to have a backyard goat? Send us an email. Let us know what you think. Victoria at cbc.ca. You can call Talkback as well, 360-0614 or toll free, 1-800-757-1446.